uh, Thomas Kyander, lieutenant of, of, of being uh, in combat. And they used to joke, I mean, I had civil, uh, uh, ancestors in the Civil War, and they said they saw the elephant. And uh, I often would wonder uh, what, uh, I thought I was uh, pretty uh, astute, uh, but I wondered uh, what would happen, and now I never have to wonder anymore. Uh, there was someone out there that, that hated us, not me personally, but actually it was personal because he took what chances he wanted and had to take to, to hurt someone, to kill somebody aboard that boat, and those bullets weren't missing us by much. So that to me, so then it was, what was I going to do about it? And uh, the point was that I was able to take control. I was, the second in, I was the second in command of the boat, but it wasn't until years later I realized that uh, the official officer assigned to the boat was um, <clears throat> not, in his, not in his place. Once the bullets started flying, everybody hit the deck. And I was standing. Paul Brophy was the seaman that grabbed the 50 caliber and cranked the shell in it, and the coxswain stood at the wheel. And that was the three of us. The rest of them, I, I, I never found out where they were and what they did. But our, our official officer in charge, uh, I thought, I didn't know what happened, but uh, he was uh, flat on the deck. So I called the shots. I told us what to do, back down. And, and uh, of course, uh, being able to perform when you're you know you're under fire. That's a pretty satisfying feeling to know that uh, you didn't uh, jump over or uh, throw throw yourself down on the deck. Uh, so I I fulfilled uh, a very important uh, challenge that faced me, and I can always remember that uh, I was uh, in combat and uh, responded properly. So that was a very satisfying experience, and you grow up in a hurry. And uh, we first got out of college, I had a temporary job, and they did no respect, it seemed, for a new recent college graduate. But now what? I've been there, graduated into OCS and aboard a ship, and been in combat. So it kind of adjusted my outlook as far as uh, how I could handle myself, and uh, gave me a lot, a lot of confidence. It was a tremendous experience. So it, it was kind of like the high point of my uh, Navy career. And uh, a lot of action occurred after that, but this is early on in the war and it made quite a bit of publicity. So um, I, it was a great uh, opportunity for me and I'm proud to have served and I would do it all over again. <laughs>